All right, so in this problem, we are given a statement, and we want to see which of the following options represents the same relationship as the statement given. All right, so let's take this statement and turn it into a formula. So we have y is equal to the product of 3. So we have 3 times something and the sum of the variable x and the constant c. So we have to, we're multiplying a, an addition expression. So we have 3 times an addition expression. So we'll open parentheses and we'll have x and a constant c where the, where the c is equal to negative 2. So if we simplify this, we have y equals 3 x minus 6. So this is the formula we are looking for. All right, so now let's take a look at option A. We have a table of values and we have to plug in these values to see if we get true statements. So let's start with our first point. We have negative 6 equals 3 times x, which is 0, minus 6. So that gives us a true statement of negative 6 equals negative 6. All right, now our second point is negative 1.5 equals 3 times a positive 1.5 minus 6. So here we have a negative 1.5 equals 3 times 1.5 gives us 4.5 minus 6. So this simplifies into negative 1.5 equals negative 1.5, which is a true statement. Now let's move on to our third point. We have 2.5, or no, we have 1.5 equals 3 times x, which is 2.5 minus 6. So here we have 1.5 and 3 times 2.5 gives us 7.5 minus 6. And again we have 1.5 equals 7.5 minus 6 which gives us a true statement of 1.5 equals 1.5. Alright now our fourth point we have 2 equals 3 times 3 which is our x minus 6. So here we have 2 equals 3 times 3 gives us 9, minus 6 gives us 3. So 2 does not equal 3, and therefore this is an incorrect statement, and A is eliminated. Now let's take a look at B. Alright, so we'll write it over here. X is equal to the sum, so X is equal to the sum of, of Y divided by 3 and a constant c where the c is a negative 2. So we can change this sum into a negative. And so we, we are given this function, and in order to tell if they are equal to one another, then we can eliminate, we can isolate the y and see if we are given the original function. So in order to isolate the y, we can add 2 on both sides. So we have x plus 2 equals y divided by 3. And now we can multiply 3 on both sides, and we have 3x plus 6 equals y. Now this, this is not equal to the original statement given, because this is a positive 6, and here we have a negative 6. And therefore, b is eliminated, and now we can move on to c. We have y equals 3x minus 2, which is incorrect, because here our y-intercept is not negative 2, it is at negative 6. All right, so now let's see why D is correct. We have our y-intercept, which crosses at negative 6. And in order to see if this statement is true, we can find the slope. And if the slope equals our positive 3 that we have given, then this statement will be true. So our first point is 2, 0. And our second point will be 0 down negative 6. So now let's plug this into our slope formula. And we have 0 minus negative 6 divided by 2 minus 0. So now we have 0 minus negative 6, which turns into a positive 6, divided by 2 minus 0, which is 2. And now we have 6 divided by 2, which gives us a positive 3. And because this is the same slope given and the same y-intercept, that means that, the that this graph on option D equals the statement given in our, in our question. So D will be our final answer.